I think a big part of a like why we we weren't breaking up when we probably should have. I think we we probably should have broken it off earlier. A big reason is because um, sunk costs. You already put so much time into something. You're like, I'm not gonna break up now. You know how it is. It's like when you've invested so much of something into, you know, you don't wanna you don't wanna lose that thing because you're like, well, I don't wanna regret like or waste have any of that time wasted. Um. Yeah. At the end of the day, the biggest thing is we literally drifted apart and we didn't really address that or recognize that until we sat down and talked about it like in depth. Uh, many conversations about it. We obviously didn't just give up on our engagement like that. Like there was a lot of conversations that like happened and then happened again and we thought about it and happened again. And then we're like, okay, yeah, like we have, you know, we, it wasn't one argument. We're like, breaking up with you you know we we obviously love and care about each other so much you know like so so much you just have to like at some point we were like all right we need to really like address this and like what do we want and so this is what we decided on and then we had to deal with that and then we're like and now we tell the public and my biggest thing is like i don't want to break your guys's heart one thing that made me really sad is like I was scrolling through my Twitter timeline after we announced it and like so many of you guys were sad and like I don't believe in love anymore and like I'm crying this is the worst day ever and I'm like <laughs> don't be sad don't be sad you know didn't make yeah that was my like I was like of everything I just didn't want Edison to be sad I didn't want you guys to be sad I was like I can be sad it's fine <laughs>